My name is Siani Ellison. I am uh, an assistant professor attending physician in the Department of Radiation Oncology with Freighter in the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network. My undergraduate education was at the U.S. Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. I uh, graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Biology and then did my medical school here at the Medical College. So I, I see everyone. So I see kind of infants, so kind of as soon as, you know, children are born all the way up to, you know, elderly and senior patients. I treat um, CNS malignancies in adults, so that's primary brain tumors, brain metastases in adults. I treat soft tissue sarcomas in adults and children, and then I treat any and all cancers in the pediatric patient population. I think when you're dealing with things so heavy as cancer, um, that I just approach everything with a positive attitude. I try to be really upfront with patients and give them all the information they want, you know, in terms of prognosis and prognostic information, but. I think they hear that from everyone else and I try to, as much as possible, keep a positive attitude and tell patients what I reasonably can do, but also tell them what I'm not able to do as well. But I just want them to know that I'm there to support them and their families through every step of the process and it truly is a privilege to walk with them through their, you know, all aspects of their diagnosis and care. With my family, I have three younger siblings and I've had some interaction with the health system as well and I think we've all had those experiences where you have, you know, bad doctors or doctors that you don't feel like follow up on things for you. And I guess I hope patients know how much I truly do care about them and that I think about them after I leave the office and they're kind of always on my heart and my mind. And I do really, really try to be a person of my word and a physician of my word. And when I tell patients I'm gonna do something, I try to do that. And I just hope patients feel, you know, empowered to advocate for themselves, but also, you know, feel comfortable with me as their provider to tell me things that are going on and just trust me to do my absolute best to help them. I really, really liked radiation oncology. It was my first rotation that I did in clinical work as a medical student and I kind of compared everything back to it. I loved that I got to do some physics and radiation biology and I got to be, you know, a little bit more of a nerd. Um, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I really liked being a part of active intervention, so getting to actually be a part of active cancer treatment, and then I also loved getting to see how the story ended, which in cancer patients, it's not always the outcome that we hope for, but you get to see patients in long-term follow-up for years and years, and you get to actually walk with them through, you know, hopeful cure, but if there is, you know, recurrence or those hard things and tough conversations, it's nice to be a point of contact for people and really be there to support the patients and also be a part of their active treatment. My husband and I both work here at Freighter at the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network um, and we met in medical school so that's been, it's really been um, kind of a blessing to have him with me and somebody to walk through it together but we really enjoy being active, we like to hike and travel um, and then I also teach spin classes part time so I usually teach a spin class or two a week and it's nice to do something out of the hospital and to um, do something active as well.